Welcome back to Car Dad Bill. And guess what? This week we got a up guys so like i said we have the minivan this week and not just any minivan we have the chrysler pacifica pinnacle all-wheel drive minivan i mean it's full of stuff so let's get started so let's start up front like normal led headlights led fog lights these things aren't going away every car company is bringing these out putting these in all their vehicles they're super bright super clarity on the roads nice led surrounds on the headlights for daytime running lights and then we have the radar cruise control up front that's what that black that glossy black plate is up front fog lights mounted just underneath there as well all in the ball in the van around the side 20 inch split five spoke wheels gorgeous on the minivan and the pinnacle logo right behind that led turn signals in the door in the um mirrors also the cameras are underneath there for your around view parking assist up top full panoramic glass roof. talk about a beautiful addition for the inside of the vehicle and as you can see from the outside look at that leather interior that is something else on the sides here are your doors that slide open now if you have the key fob like i have right here you want to make it like this that's the that's the uh position it should be in to give you that door and then the other side so you can do both sides from the key fob keep walking around the van we have led tail lights as well of course big chrysler logo on the back pacifica the all-wheel drive logo underneath the back bumper back here is where you can kick to get that open like i showed in the intro that LED bar on the back here goes straight across to make it look really, really prestigious at nighttime. Definitely has a Chrysler feel to it. You can tell it from a mile away. One detail uh, feature that I like about the outside of the Pacifica is the, the slider comes back here and you can't see it. It's tucked away in there really nicely. So when you stand back here and you look at that trim, it disappears you don't see track for the door whatsoever let's take a look inside all right so we're inside and i'm going to try to break this down by first second and third rows just to kind of keep it easier and keep everything together start off with this steering wheel really really classy um, brushed aluminum in the middle of the steering wheel it's heated as well you have regular gauges up there and i know you guys are used to seeing some of these other gauges now but these are pretty pretty standard um, rotary gauges that are easy to read. You can switch between menus on the center console and, and definitely um, pick, you know, trip info, vehicle information. You can go through all the different stuff here that, that comes up. Uh, adaptive cruise control, your fuel economy. You can see right there, I'm getting 18.1 miles per gallon. I have 68 miles left in the range. I can toggle through this stuff. I like keeping it on the digital uh, speedometer. That's one of my favorite things. That way I can see it quickly when I'm driving. Moving over to the dashboard, really clear and precise uh, screen here. This screen, the, the logos are really, really crisp. The, the way the things work, really crisp. Moves pretty fast, navigation, the screen's pretty quick get your HVAC stuff there but you could also get your HVAC stuff down here and that's what it looks like when it's up there 
and then you have your direct select buttons down here for your different you know temperature controls and whatnot and then when you turn the car on you're usually on the home screen you can select up here to get your heated steering wheel your heated seats your cold seats sync the temperatures between both sides things like that your volume controls down here parking assist both sides this is your automatic parking this will help you actually park parallel and, and perpendicular parking lane keep assist i always tear it off because it's annoying your automatic your auto start stop that drives people crazy as well so i try to take that off if po as possible and then your traction control tuning control i love this feature the rotary gear select it just totally unclutters the dash i mean look at this dashboard now there's nothing there you know to stick out to get in your way you can you can reach down here you can get the bluetooth or the uh, blu-ray disc player in there you can plug in your usb for your movies down here is your wireless charger your different usb connections for up top water container you know cup holder for your water bottles inside here is a really large storage compartment coins not a lot of people have coins i wouldn't imagine but there they are and then you have a power power port here and your standard 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter that we have everywhere on the passenger side you can see just the detail of the doors the leather seats the stitched leather the pinnacle edition really gives it a a really classy look and if you see down there, that's a Harman Kardon sound system. And if you know anything about car audio systems, that's one of the most powerful ones out there this day. It's got strong, powerful bass, really clear highs, definitely a banger inside the van. Really nice. Over here, headlights, fog lights, door switches, some wood grain, some memory, seat controls. Let's jump into the back seat and take a look at the second row. So there's two ways to open this back door on the handle or you can hit the button I always hit the button you can also open it up with the buttons up top here that allow you to open the doors the trunk hatch turn on the lights things like that back here look what it comes with stitched leather pillows really classy really awesome stow and go down here lift this up you can put stuff down in there as well and it's pretty deep Popping in, close the door so we don't have any feedback. There's the button right there. Door closes. Your heated seat is right here. Your windows are right here that I have locked for obvious reasons. Then you have a shade right here as well that'll shade even more. This is already a privacy tinted window, but you can do that. Speakers in the doors. I moved the seat up so I had some more room. And this is what the kids love. You have different apps on here. You can play all kinds of games. You can play bingo, you can play checkers. You can play several different games. All different stuff, pretty loaded for the kids. You can also go back to home and put the TV or the uh, display on with either, you can use the HDMI cables here or up front, which I showed you earlier that are up there. And then this folds flat. Each kid gets a remote control, kid or adult, whoever's back here, gets a remote control to work. Each one has its own holster and uh, your wireless headset as well. Down here, you have the cup holder that sets it automatically. If you keep pulling on it, you have a little bit of an extension cord for your vacuum. And I know you're probably wondering where the vacuum is. And the vacuum is actually behind my seat here and it's tucked away back in there. And I'll show you that in the next video. Here's the interior from the back seat, back row. Climate control for the whole back section back here. You can also control it from up front, um, selecting rear. And then here's a view of the back. There's actually a camera back here as well. And a back. So back to that camera, that's actually called the fam cam. And if kids are acting a mess back here, right? And they're jumping around and they're doing whatever and you, and you need to see what's going on, there it is, there's the view. All you can see is my back and uh, cause I'm leaning forward. But that, that's the, the fam cam. Pretty neat, pretty funny.
that's what it looks like when you actually select it bam cam moving to the back here i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use this part to open up the trunk because that's foolproof you can stand there kicking that stand back there kicking that thing and not have it open for you the first couple tries here's the back back seats a view of all the way through it's a large cabin really clean and very luxurious it's got suede on the ceiling here's your seats speaker the stove vac so this right here is where you would actually take it out to clean it so if you were gonna after you're done vacuuming you take you split that out there's the filter right there it slides out slides back in closes locks in place backpacks in there this is my hockey bag so it shows you kind of how big that is now let's remove this for now and then we have the seat stowed right how do you make that come back up you pick the right side and then you pick normal position and it automatically comes back up you don't have to pull on it there's a little little uh tucking thing here to keep that away and there it is you can lift the headrest up from there same thing back here switch it to the left forward back stow or upright now pick the right side and then you can move the seat forward and backward you can recline it and whoever's sitting back there can do the same thing right there there's a button to move the seat forward and backward let's run around and show you the vacuum real quick here we are back on the driver's side and there is the vacuum let me move the seat a little bit forward to get it out of the way and in here this is where the vacuum is stored there's some of the attachments right here then up top is the actual vacuum you pull the vacuum out hit the button now the vacuum's on. Pretty cool feature. Very useful for families especially. All right, so let's take a ride and so you guys can hear what the van sounds like while we're driving down the road. My kids loved it. Uh, as you can see how excited they were at the beginning of the video. They really thought this was they love, they love the van because of the, the screens in the back, let's be honest. They want to see, you know, they want to be able to play video games that are already added to the system. They don't have to bring their own iPads. They don't have to load anything that's already pre-populated for them. But this van, I have to say, is very luxurious. It's very quiet. The steering wheel is, is beefy. It's got a good feel to it. Um, and it's, and it's overall, I'm glad that Chrysler brought the all-wheel drive to the table. Uh, Toyota was the only one before them to have the all-wheel drive. And now they're adding that all-wheel drive to their, to their um, lineup. It kind of sets it apart as well with the Pinnacle. So you have a good size motor, all-wheel drive, and then all of these luxurious touches on the inside. I mean, personally, I think it's a little bit too luxurious for, for a family's vehicle. Uh, kids are going to destroy this. Kids are going to be throwing things around, leaving things inside. You know, depending on if you let your kids eat in the car or not, they're going to have wrappers everywhere and, you know, applesauce on the seats and, and whatnot. So it's, it's a nice leather interior. I don't know. Like I mentioned earlier, this has the premium leather package. It's on the Pinnacle trim line. It's called Caramel Napa Leather. And it's exclusive to the Pinnacle lineup. Uh, and it's definitely attractive. It's definitely different than any other leather seats that I've seen in a minivan for sure. The minivan, the, the Pacifica Pinnacle also has a 3.5 liter V6 with a nine speed automatic transmission. So you're able to get some decent mileage out of this on the highway with that nine speed. It drops the RPMs down really low keeps you cruising at a good speed so you can pick up that extra mileage the price for this however the 
pinnacle, top of the line, all wheel drive, leather interior, all the bells and whistles, fam cam, vacuum, surround sound or surround view monitor for your parking, the Harman Kardon upgraded sound system, all that stuff brings it in at around $55,000. So it's not cheap by any means. The actual number is 54885. So it has a good, a good price tag to it, but it's a really nice uh, minivan. I'm gonna turn onto the highway right now and I'm gonna give it some throttle and so you guys can hear it wind out. There's not, there's no drive modes for a minivan. You get one drive mode and that's, that's what we're in. And I mean, it gets up and goes. The V6, the all wheel drive, it'll really, it'll really pick it up, bring you to the highway, get you on the highway safely. And then it, at highway speeds right now, you can't really hear, you can talk to each other in the, in the car. Um, you can talk to the kids in the back, they can hear you. The fam cam is something that I, that I think is hysterical. While you're driving down the road, you can see who's playing what video games, who's doing what, it shows you the third row, it shows you the second row, and it's just really funny that, uh, that something like that actually came out. Um, some cars have microphones in the car, so that when you're talking to the person in the third row, you can kind of single them out and um, say, hey, send me up this, or give me that, or stop doing this, and, and uh, it's, really, it's really cool um, to have all those different features. But this Chrysler has so many features to it. This, but I do love this touchscreen. This touchscreen has crisp, clear text. Uh, the graphics are really clean. Um, it's just really nice overall. But it's personally, it's just too high end of a minivan for a family. And the other downside, in my opinion, for my family personally, is I have six children total, and this is only a seven passenger. I need that third. I need that set. That third seat here in the middle. Instead of having captain's chairs, I need actual bucket, or I need um, a bench seat to be in the middle row, so that I can carry everybody that I need to carry. So this doesn't even satisfy the need for capacity. Um, being as nice as it is and as, as laid out as it is, it doesn't have all the capacity that I need. Rocco, what's your favorite part of the minivan? The iPads. Anna, thumbs up, thumbs down. Joey, th um, thumbs up, thumbs down. Mini, probably. Sideways? Yes, yeah, sideways. Willie, thumbs up, thumbs down. Ching. <laughs> Dominic, what do you think? Yeah, yeah change my mind. Yeah. Daddy, can there you go. There you go. Daddy, the kids love it. So, in conclusion, to the Chrysler minivan couple of facts about this that I want to take I want you guys to take away it's the all-wheel drive Pacifica it's the, the v6 with the pinnacle trim so it has all the options the nice leather seats the DVDs the touch screens the apps loaded into the touch screens the vacuum the fam cam the panoramic roof LED lighting it's loaded up to the gills stacked with options all kinds of things for kids, for, for the family, whoever's going to be driving this, you're probably going to love it. Uh, it comes around 55,000, it's 54 and change, and it gets about 18, 19 miles to the gallon, uh, depending on how you're driving and where you're driving. Uh, the nine speed will probably get you a little bit more mileage on the highway. But for that being said, I think it's a really luxurious and kind of over the top minivan in the minivan wars that are out there right now between several companies. Chrysler definitely sets itself apart with the, the styling, the interior capability, the interior uh, quality and craftsmanship. And uh, I give it a thumbs up. The kids give it a thumbs up. And it's not a bad it's not a bad minivan by any means. With that being said, I love doing these videos for you guys. I hope you like watching them. Please like, subscribe, share that video with all your friends. Um, manufacturers are starting to see this. I have a surprise for you guys next week. Uh, you'll have to stay tuned and, and keep a lookout for that. Um, that being said, Car Dad Bill signing off. Real cars for real people for real life. Car Dad Bill.